Right guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to another episode of the Barrow Road to Glory. Last episode was big. We managed to get a huge win over City, which after editing the episode, I actually realised I don't think that's something we've done before. City knocked us out of the FA Cup, what was it, two years in a row? Or no. I think when we were in the championship, they knocked us out. Fulham knocked us out last year. They beat us in the league last season. So I think that was our first win over City. Um, kicking off this episode, you can see Ankara has agreed to go out on loan to West Brom. So he'll go in January. There's been a lot of loan deals um, coming in for the players I had loan listed between the end of the last episode and the beginning of this episode as I simmed up to this first game so I've got all those sorted so you'll probably get see the messages coming in of the players um, loans being accepted. Hardcastle's um, transfer which you saw at the end of last episode it has gone through he will be going to Sheffield United in January so the only original player left is Gribben which is tough but is what is. Five games in today's episode with one of them being our first ever Champions League game against Sporting, which we're obviously going to play. We will play Leicester in the league. The Cup, we're basically throwing the Cup this year, lads. I mean, we threw the Carabao Cup every year anyway, but yeah, even FA Cup when it comes, we will throw. So we're going to quick send that. It's between Villa and Brighton. Um, Probably... I'm thinking we we watch Villa. Maybe we quick sim Brighton. Yeah. We quick sim Brighton is what I'm thinking. With the full team, to be fair. So let's kick it off. Let's get into it. Team, you know, the team's looking good. Surely the team can get a win against Brighton here. Garcia coming in at centre back alongside Collins. How is he going to do? Bellingham 83 rated now. Like, look at all the 80s in this team. Surely we can beat the likes of Brighton lads. Come on. It's a 1-1 draw. And again, we're trying to win the league. Liverpool have drew, thank goodness. But we're trying to win the league. And it's going to be tough because we're going to have to quick send games where we probably could have went in and won that game, which is annoying. And that's where we're going to be chasing teams. But here we go. The Champions League. Our first ever Champions League game. We skipped out the Europa League. Never had to qualify for it. So there's that. Ache is going on a short loan to Watford. And Araz is going to Utrecht on a short loan in January. All those free agents that we signed getting out on loan. Traore's development is going well. He's up to 78 now. And yeah, he can't exactly grow anymore um, this season. I mean, we'll change him anyway, but he's probably not going to be growing. But we have our first Champions League game coming up. Another player, hopefully going out on loan. Eusebio Paulo. <laughs> Eusebio, who we have signed. The left back Anslep as well. A lot of players going out on loan, has to be said. Anslem or Anselm is going out on loan to names and Eusebio. We're just gonna call him Eusebio, why not? Eusebio is going out on loan to Majorca and then Bartlett wants to play. I'll think about it, mate. He thinks he can do a better job than Wolf. He wants to take on Wolf. But well, let's get in to the press conference. It's been a long road. A long journey to get here, but hopefully we can prove that we can do it. We'll take it one game at a time. This is a trophy we want to win this season. We cannot wait and we will focus on the performance and on playing well. And it has to be said, lads, the reserves team sheet that I made is going to be very important this season. You get these Champions League games and then you play again two, three days later sometimes two three days either side and you can already see Garcia is not fit oh my 
ideas. I wanted to go to team management. I ended up hitting quicksand by accident. We draw nil-nil, but... <sighs> that was our first Champions League game. I wanted to play that. I cannot believe that. How has that just happened? Atletico beat Shakhtar, but come on. Game... <sighs> I've tried to go across the team management. Because Garcia was tired. And I needed to take him out of the squad, and now we've had to... <sighs> That's so annoying. I'm raging with that. We have two Champions League games in the next episode. I am playing, well, Chelsea in the league we might have to play. We can probably watch the sim for that. I am playing at least one of them. 100%. I am raging that's happened. Absolutely raging. <sighs> Leicester in the league we're going to have to play now. We're going to have to make up for the fact that we dropped points against um, Brighton. I can't believe that. I'm really disappointed with that. <sighs> I'll, I guarantee you I'll not mess, I'll not mess up jumping into this because it's a stupid Premier League game. Our first Champions League game and I didn't even get to play it. <sighs> Leicester in the league and no doubt our lads aren't fit. Yeah, well, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, look, of course. Of course, I hit team management this time, didn't I? Garcia get out of the squad. Mengi comes in. Um... Wolf kind of tired. Gribbon's going to start... We'll bring Bartlek on the bench. <sighs> we kicked the episode off against Leicester, lads. So, Leicester, our first game of the episode. I am so disappointed about the Champions League game. I want to win that competition. Sporting, great game to start off with because we could struggle against Atletico. We could have beat that sporting side and now... We've bottled it already. We're already bottling things. Between losing to United, quick sim and Champions League games, drawing with Brighton. I can't cope with this tonight, lads. Let's just hope we fix things here against Leicester in the league. As Bellingham finds Gilbraith. Why has Gribben not ran forward there? Brilliant. Here's Bellingham. To Nda. Back through to Jude Bellingham. Took a heavy touch. He took it far too heavy. Ends up hitting it straight at the keeper. That was a waste of a chance. Gilbraith. What a ball that is. To Nda. Nda coming in. And it's saved. From the Leicester keeper. We whip it in. Ready on and ready is scores a header if that does not show how good he is I don't know what does we never score headers the last man and the only man to score a header in this career mode for us Devante Cole and what a legend he was also wore the number 9 Renier with the goal absolutely brilliant 1-0 off Finally, some positivity in this episode. What a ball that is. And there's far too much space over here for Leicester. And I've gone for the dink. Arresti does really well, though. And he wins himself a free kick. Here's Bellingham getting forward now. And he wins the free kick. That's brilliant. Have to say, Bellingham, he feels like a high-rated player now. He really does. I crossed in. Make nothing from it so far. And Leicester. Gonna get it cleared. But. Decent first half. 
Here's Pogba for Leicester. Weird signing, but it's won by Mengi. It's found its way to Nda. And now Renier taking on the Leicester defence. Renier. Oh, he's hit the post. What a hit. What a shot. What a run from Renier. Really like how he feels in game. Thought about playing it back or trying to play it inside, but currently on the four star weak foot why not he hits it it just smacks the post now Leicester with Iosi Perez and Boyko gonna sort that one out here's Bellingham getting forward whips it in Leicester get it cleared and we're gonna make subs here the lads weren't a hundred so they are going to need um, some rest. Sterling's actually tired. So it's a chance to use Tariq Lamte, which should be fun. Um, a lot of tired lads here. Griban is going to come off for Ruiz tail. And there's not much we can do about the defence. I'm going to take Gilbreath off for Pobletta and we're going to go into 4 one 2, one, two wide and we're going to have Bellingham play at centre mid. We know we can do it. That was his old position. And then we'll have Renier and Pobletta up top. And that is what we'll run with here lads. That's well won. I think it's Lamte who's put the challenge in on Pogba. Leicester get it cleared. But Bellingham gets it to Ruiz a tail. I should have passed it. Should have passed it to Renier there. And now Leicester coming forward. Lots of space for them. And Lamte, what a tackle. What a tackle. And now here's Renier. Gonna play it back in this time. And Ruiz is here. What a counter attack. 2 0 off. Brilliant football. End to end stuff there. And it ends with the ball in the back of the Leicester net. The sub coming off the bench. He always does well off the bench, Ruiz is here. Renier went on the left foot earlier in a similar situation. Hits the post. Decides to play the pass this time. And it works out brilliantly. 2-0 up here at the King Bar, boys. Here come Leicester with Bentoncourt. It's out to play. And it's played in and Perez header. Comfortably saved by Aresti. Pobletti. To Renier. Ruiz a tail. It's out wide to Nda. The boys might not be finished yet. It's going to be a corner. It's been a brilliant game. We have dominated. Bellingham whips it in. The boys fighting for it, but it's claimed by Maximiliano. And there it is, boys. Big, big win at the King Power against Leicester. Big three points to get back on track in the league. Matip's not happy, the Leicester captain. They have Matip, Pogba, Madness. That glitch with the manager is still there, but... Really good performance from the boys. Really happy. And that's a good three points. Kind of takes the sting away from not getting to play the Champions League game. So, a surprise victory. Not really, but it was a good day for us, I'd say. Um, I think our team is still really underestimated in this game. Um, even though we have a lot of players now who are 81, 82, you know, even 83 and 84 rated. The game still kind of underestimates the overall ability of the team. And that's why in sim games too, it's kind of like we don't win a lot of them. Um, you probably will be playing this game, Ruiz I won't lie. Because Carabao Cup against Leicester, first team is probably going to be tired anyway. So we're going to be playing reserves, but you know what we have to do, boys. It has to be done, unfortunately. Where is he? Where is this man? Where the heck is he? 
Where's the goalkeeper? Boutron, there he is. 47 years old. 64 rated. This man has to play as a, as a forfeit. The first team would have been rested anyway. Reserves would have been playing regardless, but it would have been Jenkins probably. Leicester. Like, how are Leicester so fit? Pogba, Bent Dunker, Matzeff, they all played against us. Play it. And they're just playing. They've obviously rotated a little bit, but those guys don't even look tired. Quick Sim, 64 rated goalkeeper. What, what are we going to expect from him? It's a 2 0 loss, I mean. <laughs> no uh, miracles there, but we did get at least 1 out of 10 there for him. We only have to play him 9 more times this season. I don't know where we're going to fit him in, honestly, to nine more games. So, in this episode, it's just Villa left, which we're going to be watching the Sim for. So unfortunate that we missed out on the Champions League. We need to beat Villa, to be fair, because we're lurking in around sixth still, which isn't good. We need to get up there. And we actually need to be smart here, lads. Because um, we have Atletico Madrid in two days. We only get a two-day break and then we have Atletico. And that's the joy of the Champions League. I mean, again, Chelsea, two-day break and then Shakhtar again. It's going to be a lot, a lot of heavy rotating. So let's actually go in and sort the team against Villa here. See, that's the issue. A lot of these lads aren't going to be 100. Um, Lante is 100, so you know what? Let's start him. I'm not even going to play Collins. Who's our... We're going to have to play Deli. He's the, the only fit one. Then we have, where is Serkin? 76 rated, he'll do a job. And Da, there is no way he is not going to be fit, right? Marvin can start. Then, I'm going to play, I'm going to play Hardcastle actually, instead of Bellingham. Wolf can play, and then, we are going to start Pobletta. So that leaves the bench. Well, Sass Davies can come onto the bench. That leaves the bench like that. I could do with a central midfielder though. How much do I risk here? You know what? Ache. I might have to start him. Can any of these guys? Yeah. One of them's going to have to play centre mid. Ruiz Atil is going to start centre mid. Because I want Gilbreath um, to face Atletico. It just has to be done, lads. It has to be done. So that's the team that we're going to have to go and face Villa with. So I've hit the wrong button by accident. So, we are now going to jump to Sim. We're watching the Sim on this one, of course. This is the one that I hit play match on by accident. Arresty captain. It's sad when you think about it. See if Eric Garcia had been fit. I wouldn't have had to swap him out. And I would have just went straight into the game. <laughs> and I would have got to play the Champions League. But, yeah, it's unfortunate. Hopefully we can get another clean sheet here so Arresti can be up there for Golden Glove. But yeah, we we need to keep the keep winning games, keep the pressure on <laughs> up high up in the league and stay in this title race. Would be nice if we could kind of take control of it this season, but I mean, you don't really see it happening to be honest. Especially not with the likes of City. Just constantly winning games where 
we're gonna have to sim games and <sighs> quick sim games we're probably gonna drop points and Villa are one nil up so the clean sheet's gone we just need to make sure we come back and win this one not a good situation at all probably gonna have to jump into this one lads it's a it's a poor start really annoying and if we don't grab an equalizer here soon like look this is a chance and we've just wasted it lost the ball that's stupid come on get the equalizer lads no point passing it about the box if you're not going to get a goal you know that's just stupid that's just keeping possession for no reason and it looks like i'm going to be jumping in here in a few in-game minutes if we don't score in the next three minutes and it looks highly unlikely that we're going to come on prove me wrong like look you're in the box and you just passed it out Last attack, flip off. Been all over them, but gonna have to jump in here. Raise the tail. Hardcastle, back. Raise the tail, come on. 1-1. One, one. Grab the ball, grab the ball. Right, jump in. Celebrate it, I know you want to. Back in it. 51 minutes gone, loads of time to get something done. Nice ball from Hardcastle, we'll really the pin on the left foot. Maxing the top corner, level here boy. Oh, Deli will won. Gives it out to Marvin. Out to Hardcastle. Marvin. Ruse the tail. Wolf. Traore. Nice circling. Oh, we've just wasted that. That's awful, Sirkin. Awful. Lads, time for subs. Um, Wolf coming off. Bartlek is going to come on. Reza Tail's doing all right in centre mid. Marvin is going to come on. And... You know what? Renier is going to come on. To try and find the winner. And we're going to switch. To 4 one 2, one, two wide. With Pobletti. And Renier up top. That's what we're going to play. When If we're going to get this goal. We're going to have to push for it. We're going to have to get. The main lads on. So Renier is going to come on up top here. Oh Deli. That's awful mate. Still haven't got away with it. Honest oh, Deli who ma makes the tackle. Oh, they've hit the post. What is that game? They've hit the post and you give it straight back to them. You can't do that. That is a joke. They hit the post. Chance is gone. Grow up. Live with it. Don't give them the ball straight back. <sighs> Scripting in career mode now. That's a joke. Expect that stuff from Ultimate Team. But career mode. Why do you care who wins in career mode EA? Yeah. Why are you getting involved? <sighs> this is a joke. Does somebody want to run here? <sighs> Freaking corner. We were looking for a winner five minutes ago. That's straight at the keeper. Poblete. Back to Renier. Has a bit of space. How has he saved that? Right. I don't care. Give me the stupid corner. That we make nothing from again. This is ridiculous. Why are we chasing this game? Renier. 
What, like, lads? Where are the runs? Of course he's offside. 89th minute. We're going to get nothing from this stupid game. Ref, why are you even still playing? You've handed them everything. You may as well blow the whistle. Your job's done. There, go. Give the three points to Villa. You've tried to do it from the start of this game, and there you go, you've done it. That's a joke of a... A joke of a game and a joke of a goal to give them. We're down to ninth, lads. Liverpool top of the league, 17 points. We're already eight points off top. There's City, who we beat last episode. One point off top, because they know how to win games. Instead, we're sitting here losing and drawing. It's a waste of my time. This is another season. We're not going to win anything. We're going to win nothing. Champions League to kick off the next episode. None of these lads ready to come up. In fact, half of these ones need to go. Crap potential, crap potential. Jill, half crap potential. These two are the only two staying for now. Absolute joke of an episode. One of the worst episodes I've ever recorded. Everything going wrong. Didn't even get to play a Champions League. They friggin' drew the game anyway. They drew to Brighton and then go and lose to Villa. Premier League. We're meant to be challenging for the title. That third team wouldn't challenge for the League One title. Absolute disgrace. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, guys. I'm sick of this. Cheers.